Hello and welcome to Teacher Lila's video classes. And today's class, we will talk about shapes and patterns. Shapes and patterns. And I'm Teacher Lila. I hope you enjoyed today's class. When it comes to shapes and patterns, I uh, do believe that learning the names of the shapes and the patterns help us describe objects, um, buildings and uh, art expressions, uh, visual art uh, in a much better sense. So, by definition, shape is uh, a quality found in some objects uh, and seen in body forms or uh, the way that they appear in their outline. So this is the definition of a shape or shape. And the first shape is the circle, a circle. So repeat after me, circle, a circle. This one is called a diamond. Diamond. Diamond is also the name of a gem and it's the name of this uh, shape. Diamond shape. Diamond. Then, if that shape, if this uh, uh, geometrical shape has three angles, uh, we call it a triangle. There are uh, different kinds of triangle. So there, if they have three angles, it is a triangle. And um, this interesting shape has four angles and four equal sides, and it is called a square. A square. A Square. Two equal sides and other uh, longer or shorter sides. Re rec rectangles. Let's repeat. Rectangle. A ah, rectangle. A rectangle. We also have this way to represent a rectangle to draw a rectangle. And the last shape of today's lesson, a heart. Heart. A heart. Heart. For patterns, uh, to learn how to describe or, uh, or to name a certain pattern is important to I don't know, to get, to get or to order the perfect tile for your, uh, for your house, your floor, your walls, uh, for wallpaper, uh, buying chinas, uh, um, wrapping papers or textile fabric. So by definition, pattern is a distinctive style, model or form with repetitive design. Uh, found in wallpapers and fabrics, as I mentioned. So let's learn patterns. The first one is this uh, bunch of little dots, as you can see in my shirt. So it's called a dotted pattern. Dotted pattern. If the dots are bigger, as in little circles and filled with colors, uh, they are called polka dots, so polka dotted pattern. Uh, I really enjoy polka dotted pattern in cushions, uh, bed, uh, uh, bed spreads, and I really like this pattern. My favorite pattern of all, the um, my number one pattern is this one, chevron, chevron pattern. Um, as far as I know, this name, chevron, for this zigzag pattern uh, probably comes from the brand of a, a chain of gas stations that is called Chevron Station, Chevron Gas Station. Um, now we have like similar uh, 
patterns, but they're not quite similar, uh, but they get confused. This one, which is found most commonly in uh, tablecloths, uh, picnic um, uh, cloths, it's called checkered pattern. Uh, this is the same pattern we find on uh, on board games, on boards of uh, checkers or chess, if you play chess, uh, maybe there are more games you can play with this pattern. It's called checkered pattern. And this pattern, it's uh, most commonly found in flannel shirts. Flannel shirts, it's called plaid. A plaid. Plaid, um, I've heard people saying tartan uh, pattern, but uh, according to my research, plaid is uh, comes from Scotland. It's like the, the Scottish kind of a pattern found in those uh, quilts. And uh, the tartan is Mediterranean. So if I'm wrong, please correct me on the comments. And if you find flowers and on a rug or sofa, it's the floral pattern, floral pattern. There are all other uh, patterns that I couldn't draw, I couldn't find. Well, I actually draw my, my classes, so uh, Hawaiian pattern and um, uh, there's Paisley pattern, which was quite popular during the 70s and now it's back in fashion. So uh, today we learned about a shape and patterns and I hope you enjoyed today's class and I'll see you next time. Bye!